with the mushroom, the parmesan, and the fresh herb from the garden. You know, for me, it's a perfect dish, and, and it's fantastic. Over the last few months, we've all been away from the things we love. But that doesn't mean we haven't discovered new things. So in launching their new wine cellar, LG Signature has invited me, wine critic James Suckling, and a group of incredible New York City chefs to share some of our notes on the things we've learned this season and the dishes those lessons have inspired. This is Notes from the Cellar. In this season, it's really important for me, but for, for everyone, I think, to feel that they can find joy in things that, that they're passionate about. And, and one of those things for me has definitely been cooking. Um, probably since I was 19 years old and moved to New York City, uh, I really just was, am self-taught, but there's such a close connection, I feel, with dancing and with art and music and food, which I love all of them. Um, but those are definitely things that have brought me joy while I've been away from the stage or you know, even just away from my peers and, and leaning into what you love, I think is so, healthy for your well-being, just internally to be able to connect with what you're really feeling inside and then be able to express that through things you enjoy doing. Um, and so cooking has definitely been a way for me to lean in to what brings me joy and what I love. So today I'm really excited to be joined by Chef Cedric Von Gerichen. He'll be sharing a dish built on some ingredients he personally loves. So it should be fun to try and recreate this one myself. I'm Chef Cedric Van Gerichten. I'm the chef owner of Wayan, located in Nolita, New York City. It's been a very challenging, difficult time for us since all the restaurants being closed down. I really miss the, the rush of the restaurant in, you know, like a Friday, Saturday night. You know, really miss it. So we have been spending the last couple of months upstate with my family in quarantine due to the COVID, being homeschooling my kids. And now we have a little time on hand and we start growing our own herbs here. Being in New York City, you don't have the space or sometimes the time to take care of it. So every day having the herbs to use into my cuisine, it's amazing. Today, I'm gonna to show you one of the dishes I've been working on and it's a grilled potobello mushroom with truffle sauce and some herbs that we grew from my garden. So. First, we're gonna grab some nice, large-sized portobellos and some truffle sauce and the Parmesan cheese. Look at this. I almost got nothing to do, it's all coming out. All we gotta do now is go to the grill and start cooking. First step of the dish is to make the truffle sauce. So for that, you'll need a pot. Um, right now, I'm getting the pot hot on the grill, but you can also do that uh, on the stove uh, in your house. I'm going to add about two tablespoons of butter. While this is cooking, we're going to slice some garlic, peel it, slice it across. It doesn't have to be perfect. And let's check on the butter. Here we go. So now I am adding the garlic. You can hear the sizzle, the truffle paste, a pinch of salt, the Parmesan cheese, and we're putting it back on the grill. I want to make sure that I'm melting my truffle and my cheese with the butter. Uh, and this is, you know, like, just like Misty mentioned, it's all about leaning what you love. And, and for me, this is really all about umami. It's not like sweet or salty. It's something that makes you salivate and makes you want more, you know. It's, it's what it is all about for me, so. Now that my cheese and my truffle paste, garlic is all tender and it smells delicious, we're going to puree it into a blender. There we go. I'm gonna add a little water. The water is gonna to help to emulsify the mixture. Make sure it's not all broken. Blend it for a few minutes. And there we go, look at this. Beautiful, nice and creamy, great color. And the cheese, the umami with the mushroom is gonna be spectacular. So now my truffle sauce is done. We are gonna cook the portobello mushroom. We're gonna remove some of the stem here. We are gonna add some olive oil onto the gills, all over the top. I'm adding on also some salt. I'm gonna go straight onto the grill. You want the grill to be pretty hot, have a nice sear on the bottom. 
what you're looking for is to have all the juices from the mushroom to come all the way up in the gills and make sure you keep those juices because there's a lot of flavor so you don't want to tilt the mushroom around. While we're waiting on the portobello to cook on the grill, my friend James Suckling will be sharing some of his notes about the art and craft of wine. Really, in collecting wine, you want to have the wine stored properly. So one point that I really like about the LG Signature Wine Cellar is that it maintains your wines at the right temperature, the right humidity. There's no worry about vibration or UV light spoiling the wine. And it's maintained at the right temperature for serving. So you know it's being kept well, but at the same time, it's ready to take it out and enjoy it. Today, we've got a great pairing, and I'm really excited about it. If I'm thinking about mushrooms, Parmesan, I don't know, it sounds like Italian wine. And it has to be my wine of the year last year, an incredible Brunello from Tuscany, the Sirio Pacenti, Brunello di Montalcino, 2015. I think you're gonna love it. So now let's check on the mushrooms. You wanna make sure it's nice and tender. Now you see all the juice of the mushroom that run to the top. This is perfect. I'm gonna put a spoon of the truffle sauce which is made in the center. Crispy shallots. I'm gonna sprinkle all over some sunflower seeds. And finally, those beautiful herbs from the garden. Here I have some Thai basil. You can use regular basil, some fresh mint, some cilantro. The whole goal here is to scatter the herbs a little bit everywhere. So every time you have a bite, it's a different flavor that pops into your mouth. And to finish, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil onto the portobello and the herbs. And that's it. I'm gonna pour myself a little glass of wine and enjoy this dish. Today, we made a real portobello with truffle sauce. For me, the flavor of umami with the mushroom, the parmesan, the truffle, and the fresh herb from the garden. You know, for me, it's a perfect dish, and hope you enjoy this as much as we do with our, our family. And uh, until next time. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you really enjoyed cooking these meals at home. Cheers.